Wouldn't you like to do this effect where as you scroll down, you've got your words moving along and can you see we have a change like we go from solid black to now we have a bit of transparency kicking in over there. Really simple and easy to do with a tiny bit of CSS. It is that simple. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I've got a container and it's a VH100 and into this container, I'm going to drop in a heading and I'm also going to drop in an image. And the idea is, is that is we're going to have the headings overlap. I'm going to leave it as it is though, just because of the length of it, because I might add in a bit of a scrolling effect. Now, in terms of the heading that currently sits there, let's just go and make it be a bit bigger. I've just called it summertime, made it weightier and made it bigger. Now, here's the important bit. I'm going to go to my advanced tab. I'm going to go to position and I'm now going to click absolute. At the moment you do absolute, it kind of now means that you can rearrange it to be where you want. So if I was to pick it up, I could literally do this. Now, just to let you know, though, if I show you the settings here, if you move it, it will adjust these values. And I'm also going to add in a scrolling effect. So as you scroll down, the words will kind of move across. So what we're going to do is for that heading is make sure we're on the advanced tab, go to motion effects, and we're going to have scrolling effect. And I'm going to go for a horizontal. And I'm going to say it's going to move to the right. I'm going to go with something like that. And you can see what it's doing. Let me just move the navigator. So when you get down to this bit, the word, in fact, no, that's probably a bit too much. Let's just get the word summer in fully. There we go. So as you move down, the words will scroll across like that. But what will happen is I want it to become like almost like transparency, but with a white outline. Now, here's what we need to do. We've got our header heading at the moment, and we've got our image. We are now going to duplicate that heading. So you want to do all of your font style, your animation, anything like that from the get go. OK, do that at the start. And then because when you now add in what we're going to call almost like the stroke effect, if you do that afterwards and then you'd start to do your animation or your motion effect, you're now having to duplicate the effort. So get your heading right first then make the duplicate. I'm going to rename this one to be outline heading. And this is now what we're going to do to it. It's now, this is where it gets really super silly simple. We're going to go over to the advanced tab for the outline heading. I'm going to go down to where we have class name and I'm going to call this one outline heading like that. Then I'm going to go down to the custom CSS and drop in this bit of code. So outline heading, WebKit, text stroke, two pixel FFF. FFF is the white. So if I was to go and change that to be FF0050, can you now see the red? And that's easier to see. Now I'm going to go back over to my style. And remember, we're doing this on the outline heading. If you're a little bit unsure, just disable the view visibility of the original heading so you can see what I'm doing. We now go to the outline heading and I'm now going to make this be either fully transparent OK, or you could add in a little bit of shade like that. So you still get a little bit. So it's up to you what you do here. You could even put in a, a, a different color. I would say be careful of different colors because this is actually going to be over the original heading. And if you put in a completely different color, like a red color, it's going to look like red over black. So it might defeat the purpose of what you're doing. Anyway, let's now pop our original one back in. So now it's visible. We're going to rearrange the items. We're going to have our original heading at the back. We're then going to have the image come next and then we're going to have the outline heading that sits in front. If after doing that, it still feels like, well, the image, the, the original heading hasn't gone behind the image, just go and touch the Z indexing. So we're going to go to the original heading, go down to where we have Z index and I'm going to give that a one. Go to my image and give that a Z index of two. Then I'm going to go to my outline heading and give that a Z index of three. Quite logical, really, right? So we start over here and we can see the word summer and we got a bit of the word time. But as we move down, can you now see, by the way, I've just duplicated it. So I had more to scroll down with. But that is a really easy way to do it. And the CSS code for that is in the video description. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that.